Truckers. Welcome to Trucking with Old Snapper. I'm your host, Old Snapper. Anyway, we're going to talk about uh, psychological effects of truck driving. As y'all know, I'm going to turn that mic gain up a little bit. As y'all know, uh, trucking can have a little bit of an effect on a person's psyche. I've done a little bit of talking about this in the past. I've done a couple of videos on depression, anxiety, different things like that in the trucking industry. And uh, I'm going to talk about that again this evening. Well, I feel like this is something we don't bring to the forefront enough. I think a lot of people deny it or just don't know the signs of it. If you watch um, social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, um, you can tell by the comments, you know, that, that uh, this, you know, the, the effects that trucking has on a person's psyche. You know, um, some people tend to be real negative. Um, there's other, you know, things like that. So, you know, w we need to look for signs of depression, not only in our fellow drivers, but in ourselves. And then we need to know how to go about talking to someone else about it, as well as knowing how to deal with it ourselves, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Well... There's several ways to notice it. One, of course, is just being sad. But people with depression are not always sad. That's not always a sign of depression. Um, sometimes a person that's depressed is negative about everything. Um, people who are battling depression, especially ones that don't realize it, sometimes will want to put others down or snap at other people. They'll have mood swings, um, things like that. You know, so, <clears throat> especially the fellow creators out here, you know, if you see somebody in your comments that seems to always have something bad to say, you know, they may be going through something, you know, they may be going through depression or something like that. It's pretty common. You know, um... Of course, a sign of depression is, is lack of motivation. Lack of motivation to get out and do things. Um, lack of motivation to better themselves. Um, things like that can be signs of depression as well. Um, a dirty truck can be a sign of depression because it's, they're not taking the initiative to clean their truck. It's not always laziness. <clears throat> when you see that driver open up his door and that cab is just slap full of junk, he may be going through something because he's not getting getting up and getting motivated to uh, clean his truck and take care of things. You know what I'm saying? So it very well be that that driver is going through depression. I don't think companies watch it enough. I know we don't watch it enough in each other. I see it all the time in uh, comments, especially some of the other channels and stuff haven't seen it a whole lot on this channel, but I'm not very big. I'm a, I'm a small channel. But, uh, I believe it's something we need to work on. I think we'll have a much better industry. And just because you're going through depression doesn't mean you can't drive a truck. That ain't it at all. And I think that's why some people don't, they don't talk about it. They don't talk about it with other drivers. You know, they feel like it makes them look weak. They feel like it, uh, it affects them, you know, um, they feel like if they tell somebody else they're not going to be able to drive anymore, that's not the case, that's not the case at all, now, if you're suicidal, you're contemplating suicide, which suicide in this industry is really high, uh, I myself know two drivers who have killed themselves in a truck, um, one was at a truck stop, and one was waiting at a, uh, shipper getting loaded but anyway and to be honest with you it was those things that made me uh want to go and start researching this stuff to see if i could 
learn about it, you know, not only to identify it in others, but to identify it in myself. You know what I'm saying? Watch my own psyche as well and try to maintain good mental health. All right. I'm going to light a cigarette because this is this is a deep subject. <clears throat> and I need something to help me cough some more as if I don't cough enough, right? But anyway, if there's any kids watching this, please don't smoke. It's a really bad habit. It's a nasty habit. It's bad for your health. It'll make you old like me. You'll cough 20 times a day. And uh, you'll hope you don't have to fight because you'll be out of breath in about three minutes. But anyway, back to the subject at hand. There's certain things we can look for. Being snappy. Um, always having a negative uh, response to things um, people project a lot of times when, when someone is putting someone else down they're actually projecting themselves uh, those of y'all that play video games all right, I'm not a big video game person but I know from studying psychology a little bit that when a person plays a video game they actually did a study on this the defenses they use are always the defenses that would be uh, best against the offenses they have. So, whatever offense troops they have, they'll always have the defense troops that the other player would need in order to beat their offensive troops easily. Does that make sense? Psychologically, you know, we, we operate the same across the board. So, <clears throat> when a person, you know, whether it be in a truck stop, at a ship or a receiver, um, online anywhere, Instagram, YouTube, Patreon, uh, whatever, wherever, wherever you encounter it at, if a person is talking down to you or talking bad about you or a lot of times, more times than not, it's actually a projection of themselves. That's why it's good not to respond to it, you know, because it may not be nothing to do with you. I'm willing to bet 80% of the time it's, it's their selves. It's them. You know what I'm saying? I love this smartwatch. I can get my text on my, on my watch. It's really been a life changer, man. Getting old and getting all this new technology. It's just crazy. So, sometimes it's good to, and that, that don't mean you want to jump in that person's, you know, respond to them and say, you know, you're just projecting yourself. That's not going to help the situation at all. Um, a lot of times the best thing to do is give it some time, let it cool off, let them think about it, and then talk to them about it. You know, we got to look out for each other out here. I don't want to see none of you go through depression i don't want to see any of you kill yourselves i'm not wanting to be in no uh truck convoy at any of your funerals you know i'm an old cat y'all need to be in the truck convoy at my funeral you know what i'm saying i don't want to see any of y'all go out like that so this is really important to me and that's why this is probably i think in all the videos this will be the third video i've done on this topic because i keep trying to reach people it's really important. <coughs> I feel like I'm in a live stream. You know in the live streams, uh, whoever's doing it, they'll stop and they just go about doing their thing like no one's there. Everybody's just texting themselves, you know. That's kind of what it feels like when I stop and light a cigarette or grab a drink or do something like that. That's the way it always feels to me. All right, now that we've kind of gone over a little bit of how to spot it, okay? A change in mood, mood swings, um, projecting negativity, always thinking negative, um, things like that. Now, you know, those are some of the signs of depression and anxiety, right? 
All right. So now we can talk about how to defend it. If you're going through this and you don't want to talk to me or you don't want to talk to another driver, you don't want to talk to one of us about it. Okay, let's say you're sitting on the other side of the screen right now and you don't want to talk to anybody about it. But you want to know how to deal with it. You know, you don't want to go to your company about it. I understand. I completely understand. You know, these companies, most of them don't care about us. You know, it ain't like they're going to say, okay, go home, get yourself feeling better and come back. No, man, they're, they'll look at you as a liability. I understand that completely. You know, and that's, and sadly, it's the truth. That's what happens. And it's one of the reasons in this industry, it's been overlooked so much for so long, you know. But anyway, here's some things you can do to help yourself if you are you're going through anxiety you're going through depression whatever it is that you're going through here's some things that, that will help you number one try to get a regular sleep schedule I know that's hard trust me I know but do the best you can okay doesn't mean it's got to be every day but try you know try to Get yourself a regular sleep schedule as close as you can. That's one. Number two, make yourself clean your truck. Every single day, make yourself do it. Even if you don't feel like doing it, make yourself do it. Because when your truck is clean, no matter what you felt like before you started, you're going to feel good when it's done. All right. And that's something you kind of got to trick yourself with. Because you got to tell yourself, you know, hey, I know I don't feel like doing this. I don't want to do this, but I need to do this. And I'm going to feel better after I do this. All right. It ain't no big old cigar, but it's a, it's a Marlboro Light 100. Close enough, right? Anyway, another thing you can do is exercise. I don't mean you got to run around the truck stop and give yourself a heart attack. <laughs> you know, don't take it like that. Get out of your truck, walk around. Um, do some jumping jacks. Do some pull-ups. You can actually do them right here in your truck. You know, you use this upper bump. You know, uh, get a jump rope. You know, I got a jump rope. I'm not very good with it, but I got one. And it's very possible that one of you drivers one day is going to be coming through a truck stop and see me fall flat on my face. When I'm out there trying to do the jump rope. Um, do push-ups. Um, you can do burpees. If you're more advanced in, in uh, exercise, do some burpees and different things like that. When you exercise, it releases certain hormones and chemicals on the brain that create happiness. Um, it's a very good way of, of naturally fighting uh, depression and anxiety. Something else you can do is try to eat healthy. You know, instead of grabbing what's quick in a truck stop, grab a salad. If you eat healthy psychologically, you're telling yourself you care about yourself. You know, and it, it, it does help. It has big advantages. Um, another thing you can do is read. You know, get, get books and read. If you got a religion, read about it or... I don't know where I put it. Get these little uh, self-help books. They sell them in the truck stops. You know, you can pick them up for 10 bucks. 21 day change. 24 hour change, you know. You'll pick up little things from all them things that help you. You know, that's something else you can do. Try to watch things on YouTube or on TV or whatever. Comedy. Things that make you laugh. Things that make you feel good. Try to stay away from sad. Um... Or anything that would give you anxiety. You know, don't turn on a 24-hour marathon of the world ending. You know what I'm saying? And then lastly, reach out to a driver. Talk to one of us. You know? I'm not going to go to your company with it. I'm not going to, uh... I'm not going to down you for it. I may ask you questions. You know, to try to get to the core of it. But... 
reach out to one of us. You know, and if you don't want to reach out, like if you want to talk to me and you don't want to reach out publicly in, in comments, you can hit me up on my email, American Truckers United at gmail.com. All right. And I don't want to see anybody hurt themselves. We spend a lot of time alone. We spend a lot of time around our fam or away from our families. And sometimes out here in the truck, it's easy to feel forgotten. And I want you to know you're not forgotten. I know I'm not the best YouTube truck driver, you know. And I appreciate all of y'all for getting on here watching. I get on here, it's just to, you know, I enjoy the hobby of it. But I also enjoy helping people. I've done so much bad in my life that it makes me feel good to help others. So, you can hit me up in my Gmail. I'll, you know, I may not be able to answer you right away. I get a lot of emails. Plus, I have other things going on. But trust me, you give me a day or two, I will respond to you. You can hit me up on Facebook, Old Snapper. It may take me a day or two, but I will respond to you. And I will talk to you. But you have to be open to solutions. You know what I'm saying? Um, sometimes when people are depressed, they want to talk about what's wrong all day long. But they don't want to talk about how to fix it. You got to be open to how to fix it as well. And I'll tell you right now, you meet up with me, I will exercise with you. I have no problem at all. You know, now I exercise more outside the truck during the summer than I do in the winter. But I do exercise. And I have no problem at all getting out there, you know, and we can work out together, set, talk. I'll even buy you dinner. You know, I tell y'all in almost all these videos, we are a family. I truly believe that. We are a family. I don't care if you're black, purple, orange, brown, green. I don't care if uh, you're an ex-convict. I don't care if... Uh, it, it, none, none of that matters to me. I don't care if you're male, female, doesn't matter. If you're in a truck and you're out here doing this job away from your family, alone, you're family. You're, you're part of my family. I consider you family. You know, we may not always get along. We may not always agree. We may battle with each other on certain topics. But we are all family. I appreciate each and every one of you. You know, and I mean that. So if you're feeling down on yourself, you know, you can fix it. It can be done. But you got to be willing to put in the work. You got to be willing to get it done. Well, I'm going to close this thing out. <clears throat> um, I'm down here in Columbia, South Carolina. At the Petro. If you're at the Columbia, South Carolina Petro, hit me up. I'll be here till in the morning. Um, it is the 17th. So I'll be leaving on the 18th in the morning. That's bad. <laughs> Truck driver, I never remember what day it is. It's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's something. It's one of the seven days of the week. But uh, anyway, it's Monday the 17th. I'll be out of here by Tuesday morning. But feel free to hit me up if you're in the area. And uh, y'all take care. Stay safe. Think about what I said. Hope it helps one of y'all. If it helps just one person, man, that's all that matters. Share this video out. Maybe to help others. Um, this is one of the shirts I sell on my website. It's got the little logo. I don't know if you can see it. But it's got a little logo over there. Um, <laughs> this one's actually a size too small. Uh... I always gain a little bit of weight during the winter and then I lose it off during the summer because obviously I work out more during the summer than I do in the winter. But uh, I have these on the website, American Truckers United at gmail. I mean, American Truckers United dot com. American Truckers United dot com. There's merch on there. I sell shirts and stickers and all kinds of stuff. The stickers that are on there, any truck I'm driving, you'll. If you ever see me going down the road, that's how guys identify me. I'll have one on the uh, sleeper on the driver's side. It's just a little 4x4 four four sticker. 
and it's got this logo on it. it says keep trucking on the bottom so you ever see that i'm in a creek truck so more than likely you'll be passing me so if you ever see that that's old snapper you hit me up on the radio i'll holler back at you y'all take care and let's keep trucking